Hello, my name is Jesse Harmon. I'm a second year PhD student with Bill Johnson in the Weed Science Group at Purdue. Uh, we're standing here at Davis Purdue Ag Center where I'm overseeing 13 company field trials. These trials were planted in late May and received a uh, half inch of rain uh, immediately after, after pre-emergence herbicide application. Throughout the month of June though, we received relatively little rain, which slightly stressed the crops, but also led to exceptionally high pre-emergence herbicide efficacy. Good morning. I'm Bill Johnson, Extension Weed Scientist at Purdue University. Uh, it's July 1st, 2020, and this morning we're here at the Davis Purdue Agricultural Center in Eastern Indiana, and we're shooting some videos of our weed control plots. So in this particular trial right here, we're looking at a lot of the commercially available atrazine premixes as a, uh, a pre-emerge treatment alone and as a split treatment where we put on a portion of it pre-emerge and a portion of it post-emerge. So on my right hand side, we have Resicor, full labeled rate of Resicor, and on the left hand side we have Harness Max, okay? So these, were, uh, these trials were initiated in late May, around May 26th, the pre-emerge treatments were put on May 26th, so it's July 1st, or about five weeks after the application date. Our weather conditions were, we had a half inch of rain almost immediately on these pre-emerge treatments, then it was dry, very dry for about three weeks, and then more recently we've had some rainfall events. So what we have in the, the front on each side of me is a full labeled rate of Resicor and Harness Max, and in the plots directly behind me, these plots are 30 feet long, in the plots directly behind me, we have treatments of the same herbicides where some of it was put on pre-emerge and in a treatment of the same herbicide was put on around June 20th and we're about 10 days or so after that post-emerge treatment. So what this very clearly shows is that pre-emerge herbicides are very valuable to use at planting and what we see here where we have the full labeled rate pre-emerge is we have um, we have held the weeds back easily for five weeks but we're starting to have some breaks now okay so uh, this particular corn is at the V7 stage. It's about knee high on me. So we're, we're kind of getting into that, a situation where we have limited things that we can do from a post-emerge standpoint because the corn is at an advanced growth stage. It's beyond the V6, which really starts to limit what we can do. Now, if we take a look at the plots directly behind these where we had some of the pre-emerge herbicide put on at planting and then some of it about 10 days or so ago, those plots are completely weed free at this stage. And so it does show the advantage of breaking up that residual, putting some of it on pre-emerge, some of it on post-emerge. And that helps to buy you a little bit of insurance against situations where we run into dry spells or extremely wet spells and our pre-emerge herbicides start to break early. 